Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Yellack. Please like, subscribe and share. Hey, and if you like my work, you know what you can do? You can buy me a coffee. Love coffees. And how you can do this is, is to go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Can't talk. Anyway, would be awesome. What we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months of August 2023 for the sign of the Archer, which is you, Sagittarius. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, healing that needs to happen. And then lastly, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023, again, for the sign of Sagittarius. Before we do any of this, I want to introduce you to my guest this month. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford, and I will leave the the um, contact details in the um, description box below. There's a Facebook link. And when you go to the Facebook page, you will also notice that there's events on it. One of these events, pluck pluck, <laughs> is um, a two-day shamanic workshop in November that I will be holding and hosting at her place in November. And you can join us there. It's two day of Egyptian shamanism, quite in depth, 440 pounds. Um, you can read all about it on her page. Uh, and like I said, the um, information about all of this is, on, is in the description box. Um, that all said, are you ready? Let's talk about you. And uh, let's look at your overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, so what we've got coming up for August is... Um, uh, you may be feeling a little lost in direction at the moment. Um, uh, it's, it is saying to point a new direction or tweak whatever you're doing at the moment, uh, whether that be in work or relationships. Um, but there's also some reconciliations coming up within the month of August too. But taking charge with authority on what you feel is right to be in your life um, and what you feel is not right. So any toxic relationships, take authority, move them away. Um, or bring in those that you feel are right for you that can help you fill your cup and um, help you and support you in the direction that you want to go in life. Thank you so much. Now when it comes to your emotional core, you have the peacock and the elephant. The peacock by default is one of those guys who used to be a flying bird. And then things changed and they had to change. Now they're ground dwelling, but Mrs. Peacock used to choose, I'm still, I think she still does, used to choose her partner by the length of their tail. That's the one, that's the one time size <laughs> means something. <laughs> but the point is, what happens to a peacock is now because the tail is very long and they're not flying anymore, they, they drag. So when you have the peacock, when it comes to your emotional core, you might feel that your energy is dragging a little bit. Things can be quite difficult. And what happens with the peacock energy, the peacock has this beautiful wheel. And everybody loves the peacock because it's beautiful. Right? And there's nothing wrong being beautiful, by the way. But the peacock uh, puts up the wheel because to other birds it has a thousand eyes. So it confuses predators. What you're trying to do this month, energetically speaking, is to heal recuperate from stuff and so you're keeping people at bay and all you can do Sagittarius is to ask yourself does that make sense to me or to you that makes sense at this point in time which is an answer only you know right now remember you are by default Sagittarius Sagittarius is the archer and the archer decides how much energy you give to certain things what I'm getting for you for August is to not go into victim mode and don't think oh i don't want to do anything right life is crap i'm not saying it isn't right but you understand the concept unless you say you know i have a good day today have a creative journal creative journals are amazing you only have to write in three day three, three things um that, that 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 you found were great today and in the beginning you just sit there like oh i don't know anything and eventually you see flowers you have lovely conversations you have a coffee all sorts of things going and eventually the, the, the gratitude journal isn't big enough. So it changes how you look at stuff. If you need a bit of help, 
get yourself a crazy food journal. It changes how your brain um, creates different peptides so you, so you can be happier. What I'm getting is, because of the, of the energy of the peacock, is that you are by default beautiful. And that is not meant physically only. But you are by default beautiful. And beautiful things are precious by default. right? And so therefore, whoever wants to be with you has to deserve you first. Prioritize yourself. It is not egotistical to say, you know what, I'm going to treat everybody with respect. How come I'm not being treated with respect? Make this your first task this month because the outgoing energy is the elephant, which is the elephant in the room here, so to speak, because one of the reasons why you're not really progressing so easily is because you remember everything. And you can think about stuff that happened five years ago. If you don't go into trust, you can't manifest trust. Whatever has happened, has happened. And you are not the same person you were when certain things happened to you that have affected you as a being. Right? And what I'm getting for you is, is to, to be the elephant. What that means is, what, what people, especially in India, that's always a story, um, have problems with. The uh, elephant has a programmed brain. He knows where to go. And if you build a fucking school there, he runs through the bloody school. You can't just put a, a sign there, elephants turn left. You know, or you can't put a fence there either. Redirecting elephant herds has proven superbly difficult because their brain tells them, I need to get through this. And that is sometimes, in, in translation, what you do. Maybe certain paths are blocked because they need to. And when you rethink about someone that did something 25 years ago, oh yeah, that was a prick, blah, 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 right? He or she, what? <laughs> but you understand that? The moment you have, you hold grudges, the moment you are not letting go of things that don't serve you anymore, you are in that space of not manifesting higher energy and therefore the love you really deserve. And because you have the elephant, you might find yourself in August in that space. The advice is simple and maybe not so simple, but the advice is, is quite, is a one-liner. You accept an apology you've never gotten and learn to move on. Which is why this is so important to always be in now. I have mantras, I have a little postcard that I have for people that says I'm a fucking legend. <laughs> uh, let me just, I, I got this over here. I think. I give this to people when they, when they see me in person. And I've had people putting this uh, at work and in their car. Oh, wait, it, it's, it's probably, uh, you can see this, you only see this in reverse. I'm a fucking legend. And it is your mantra. So what I'm saying is, if you wake up in the morning and you go, I'm a fucking legend, you will crack up. If you're not a person that swears a lot, then you can say I'm awesome. But if you wake up in the morning and you say something nice that cracks you up, your energy rises. And once your energy is higher, no matter what life throws at you, it's much harder to tear you down. And what I'm getting for you this month is to be self-empowering from the get-go. Because it is old memories that don't work. And should you be in a relationship where you kind of go like, you know what, I've been in the same situation, you know, time and time again, then the question then becomes, is that really worth holding on to? Of course, these are difficult questions, but the messages are clear. Once you feel like, okay, this is cyclical, which, is, which life is, and we have tried different ways, but it's not working, you owe it to yourself to not repeat the cycles because everything you do or not do is a teaching. And if you teach someone that it's perfectly fine not having to change and then you are always in there a bit damaged, um, you, you deserve better. So empower yourself, understand yourself worse. Again, it's not something that happens overnight, but this is your this is your task, right? You are powerful, you are beautiful, live it. Okay, that was that. And now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of August 2023. This is Thomas's Tower readings for myself, Thomas Yannick, and this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, so pretty much rolling on from, from yours as well there, Thomas. Um, very much rise above the fray. Rise above anything that's coming your way. Um, bring in balance um, and the simplicity. Uh, and just experience life as it comes. Like Thomas says, letting things go. Just experience that life. And that's where your power comes in. Thank you so much. 
not much to say apart from what I always say in the end. Please like, subscribe <laughs> and share. It is really, really important. It is one of those uh, Facebook things. A lot of yeah, people say, yeah. how come we have 10,000 people watching and 2,000 people subscribing? And the algorithm can't find you. And my problem is that they normally upload once a month. So nobody finds me. People say to me like, oh, I watched your video, but I had to type your name in. Yeah, because the bloody algorithm can't find me. It's not my fault. I only work here. Right? So please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thank you so much. See you all next month. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.